30% in college. Take the top 10% in college. The top 10% collegiate players. I hope I spelled that right. That'd be kind of ironic. Um, top 10% players in college. Put them into professionals. And that guy is what? About the bottom 30. And actually a little bit less. It's more like the bottom 10. You go from being in the top 10 down to the bottom 10. It's the top two, it's the top one to two percent that eventually make it into the pros. This is no different people. No different at all. The reason why few people get here in trading is because they try and skip step one and step two. They don't want to do their time in high school ball. They don't want to do their time in college ball. They say, to heck with that. I want to be a bloody pro. I want to make $100 million this year. <laughs> so do it for a year. Please, please do it for a year. My question to you is on your three raises, is question number 19. On the Money Mountain news trade, you've indicated to short on both your own Swiss. Man, I've had this question a lot. Um, maybe I should just add it to the document. Hey, Mac, that's an idea. Um, maybe it's in there. Anyway, I like short positions because they move faster. That's the reason. Um, I, I just haven't tested it out with long trades. <clears throat> also, do we have to do the forecast and range like you suggested and look for the prior deviation, if not walk away from the trade? Hey, that's up to you. I mean, that's the way to maximize the trade. You, you know, that's, you figure that out. It's not going to work on every trade. It's only going to work on some. And I don't know. We, there's no way to predict a news announcement. Okay? So what I would suggest you do is run a, a several different situations where you go back to the expectancy numbers. Okay? You say, okay, if in this news trade, let's say I have to stop out at 40 pips, but I know that on average... Uh, I'm going to win. It's going to be high percentage of wins. We'll say 85% of the time, which means I've got 15% losers. What does that mean I have to make? Okay. I've actually got a really cool solver function on uh, my calculator, which, well, I just did a few. I mean, you could go, I think, all the way down to... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think you could go down to, you know, almost 20 pips with these kind of numbers. Okay, so you would, you would run several of these scenarios and just figure it out. What would happen if over a string of trades, you had a, you know, you, you won 85% of the time and you had to risk 40 pips in order to make 20? You know, it, it is profitable, but it's because this is so high. Now, the difference between a news trade and uh, just a, a technical trade, say based on a support and resistance or on a... Well, I just noticed. I can't believe I didn't see that before. Ha, that's funny. Uh, hello, flag pattern. Um, uh, the, the main difference is that the market really does have to adjust. Okay, So my suggestion would be to run a series of those trades and figure out where, uh, where the point of no return is for you. Uh, also, as I watch the daily video, I've noticed sometime on your chart it shows a candlestick as an up bar and a MetaTrader as a down bar. That's just because of the difference in brokers. Um, every broker is going to be different because you're trading directly with them. You're not trading with the real market. Uh, the live event, is that still coming and when? Yes, absolutely. It's coming October 26th. Uh, in fact, since uh, you mentioned it, shameless, shameless. Mac is shameless. Uh, it is the, <laughs> I had to cram that in there, theinsidercode.com slash Tango India Charlie, that's T-I-C like tick uh, without the K underscore.